Let's, let's, let's think about what we just read. We have hydrothermal springs. We have possible carbonates. Mm -hmm. Evaporates. I mean, that's why I would shoot. That's anyway. where I'd go back to. I would exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. my vote is to shoot for use as bader. Try to analyze these carbonate-rich you know, layers. Do that. I mean, there. You know, I, mean, I think it goes along with the carbonates. Wouldn't like, they have a mini test though on the? Yeah, but they couldn't. The main test you have to the, do the rock abrasion tool and then it penetrates to the right. subsurface. But they only used like the whatever the alpha rays, the barometer, and they couldn't get in the crater because it was too steep. So they like analyzed Mount Crop across the crater from the other side and they went, hey, that looks carbon rich. And then that's it. You can't fit the rover up to it because it's an outcrop. So it may not actually be carbon. I mean, well. I mean, it's, it may not be carbonates as, you know, how red is that paper? You know, it could be, you know, but obviously there's probably other other interpretations for the spectra. Mm -hmm. But I mean, all right. Yes. Well, in one, I remember reading, I think it was a paper where you guys did this too, where that word red really helped you in because they showed it where there's um, remnant magnetic signatures could generate. also where the older terrain is, which would be analogous yes. to what we're looking for on Earth. Right. right. That's a theory. That's so the old terrain, it's but it's not going to be on the surface. Right. So we don't know the same stuff. The really problem is... That well, there may be fossil evidence. So. Yeah, like our old terrains, if you want to find the fossil evidence, <coughs> those are sedimentary rocks. Anything that's going to preserve a magnetic signature is not sedimentary because sedimentary is going to broken up, and so it wouldn't preserve a magnetic signature because the magnet is pointing in every direction. Because so it's an evaporite. Evaporate is only magnetite in them to produce magnetic signatures. Or if they've been... I wasn't really going down that road, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like that's what I'm saying. Like if we send it to an area where there's magnetic signatures, like, okay, those are old terrains, it's great, but they're going to be old volcanic terrains, and definitely not going to be the best place to do it. That's where all the hydrothermal vents that they talk about. That's a good idea. Yeah. Think about that. That would be, I mean, yeah, you're right. There was water on the surface in the volcano. Hydrothermal water is, might be a good place to look. And it could have created a, an environment where not only does life currently exist, not only did it exist, but it's evolved. It's been there the whole time. So we could have these <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if we're going to look, where exactly are we going? I mean, spot. Let's so make up to the map. Point on the spot. And the point is the magnetic anomaly area. Yeah, we want to go like to Sirtis. Because that's where you get the highest. Send one each way. I'll, I'll, we can have one more. I'm changing the rules now. Uh, we can have we can have two, two rovers. Bees. Send one. Carbon no. bees. <laughs> send bees to Mars. The Russians always already landed one there though. What did they find? In Sirius? Um, close. Was it the Beagle? Mars Beagle. 
Mars 3. Mars 3? What do we know about Mars 3? I'll tell you everything about Mars 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, didn't send anything back or something. Because if I had it, I would pull it out right now. Mars 3, 
it's still early enough that life would probably still be living in the water. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Water is still there. Conclusions. It wasn't it's quite as much erosion, so road. there's less likely to mm-hmm. not be and stuff. It's pretty yep. far off. And the increased volcanism giving you lots of sulfate deposits. So you have an abundance of evaporated minerals forming that's what's the better potential for preservation of life. I think there's a ton of different places we can go. No, it's hard to narrow it down to like one place. Well, and it's a balance of, um, you have to balance all expand the terrain that it can actually rain on. To the point, because like the airbag thing, it was kind of that, like the air, you can't run the airbags over it, you need super smooth terrain, no boulders, and stuff like that, but at the same time, you still need it relatively flat, because sure. you can't just like land it on the boulder, that would just be silly. I think they're down to four spots, Hopper, that they're the uh, talking about, the Hopper. It's <laughs> a real thing. Privately mm-hmm. funded team trying to win the race. Oh no, it's yes, the Google Lunar Express. Yeah, that's what it has four legs that you would land on and then different like four different jets that would show up. Okay, it's it's got that thing. I saw that they were designing that like that the new propulsion like system that you can like it just seemed like there's a lot of the moon or like you can just like break. First time it's such a really easy. It just, it'll just go up and then it'll, it'll, like, it'll just like hover above the surface and it'll go away and then it'll land it. <laughs> oh, see that cliff? Yeah, I can get up there. Exactly. <laughs> like, I can totally go over there. That rock, that rock out top is like 60 feet up. Y'all just, you know, go up there. It'd be something awesome. Yeah, it smashes well, it. Well, at least I'm some new words to do. <laughs> oh, well, when you guys want to do the review or whatever, 